Is Putin behind the coup in Niger? The recent coup in Niger has sent shockwaves throughout Africa and the rest of the world, raising concerns about the country's stability and the motives of foreign parties, particularly Russia and its president Vladimir Putin. While Russian officials have denied any role in the coup, Putin's activities and goals in Africa cannot be disregarded. As part of his global strategy to challenge Western hegemony, Putin has sought to increase Russia's influence in Africa in recent years. During his visits to many African nations, he signed several agreements and pledged to invest enormous sums of money in mining, energy, and infrastructure projects. The construction of a nuclear power plant and a railway connecting the nation's capital, Miami, to the coast have been top objectives for Russia in Niger. As part of its efforts to combat terrorism in the area, Russia has also given the armed forces of Niger military hardware and training. However, Western governments and some African leaders are alarmed by Russia's participation in Niger because they believe Moscow to be complicit in the support of authoritarian regimes, the undermining of democracy, and human rights abuses. They cite Russia's interference in American, French, and other nations' elections, as well as its annexation of Crimea and intervention in Syria. They also caution against Russia's involvement in African conflicts, corruption, and instability. These worries have taken on new significance in the wake of the coup in Niger, which some observers believe may have had Russian involvement. They highlight the presence of Russian mercenaries from the Wagner Group in the Sahel, who are well known for their connections to Putin's administration and their involvement in crises in Ukraine, Syria, and other countries. They further suggest that certain CSP members have close contacts with Russian leaders or have received military training in Russia. Additionally, they contend that Russia might be interested in influencing or disrupting the administration of Niger. The fact that Putin's objectives and activities in Africa will continue to impact the future of the continent and its relations with the rest of the globe is true, even though there is no hard evidence to back up these allegations. The Niger coup serves as a wake-up call to the need for more inclusive, responsible, and resilient governing institutions throughout Africa and the fragility of democracy and stability there. Addressing the coup's underlying roots is crucial to prevent external players from undermining the sovereignty and stability of African countries as African leaders and international actors try to restore constitutional order in Niger. Only then will Africa be able to map out a path to prosperity for all of its citizens and sustainable development. However, the situation in Niger is not unique. Across Africa, authoritarian leaders, corruption, and weak institutions have contributed to instability, conflict, and poverty. External actors, including Russia, China, and Western nations, have sought to take advantage of these conditions for their gain. China, for example, has been expanding its economic and political influence in Africa through its Belt and Road Initiative BRI, which aims to build infrastructure and enhance connectivity across the continent. While some African nations have welcomed Chinese investment and support, others have raised concerns about debt traps, environmental degradation, and human rights abuses. Western nations have also been involved in Africa for centuries, often in exploitative ways. While they have provided aid and support for development, they have also supported authoritarian regimes and intervened militarily in conflicts. The legacy of colonialism and neocolonialism continues to shape Africa's relationship with the West. In this context, Russia's involvement in Africa is just one piece of a larger puzzle. It reflects a growing competition for influence and resources on the continent, as well as a desire to challenge Western dominance. However, it also raises questions about Russia's intentions and methods, as well as its impact on African nations. To address these issues, African leaders and international actors must work together to promote good governance, democracy, and human rights, as well as sustainable development. This means investing in institutions, supporting civil society, and promoting transparency and accountability. It also means engaging with external actors constructively and responsibly, based on mutual respect and shared interests. For Russia, this means respecting African sovereignty and supporting African-led initiatives for peace and development. It means being transparent about its activities and intentions, and working with African nations to address common challenges, such as terrorism, poverty, and climate change.
In addition to promoting good governance and sustainable development, African leaders and international actors must also address the root causes of instability and conflict on the continent. This includes addressing economic inequality, promoting social cohesion, and preventing the spread of extremist ideologies. It also means investing in education, healthcare, and infrastructure, which are critical for building strong and resilient societies. External actors can play a role in supporting these efforts, but they must do so in a way that is sensitive to local contexts and needs. This requires engaging with local communities, civil society organizations, and other stakeholders to understand their priorities and concerns. It also means working with African governments to build their capacity to address these challenges, rather than imposing external solutions. Ultimately, the future of Africa will be shaped by Africans themselves. They have the power to build inclusive, resilient, and prosperous societies based on their values and aspirations. External actors can support these efforts, but they cannot dictate them. The challenge for Africa is to seize this opportunity and chart a path to a brighter future for all of its citizens.